Hi, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create paper cut effect for pictures in PowerPoint 2013. The beautiful paper cut effect you will learn to create today looks like this. There are times when you want to tell a story, you may want to introduce different characters onto your slide. To have a beautiful paper cut effect like this will add a lot more character to your stories. It is a very simple technique to learn and I'll show you how easy it is to create this from scratch. Here I am on a new slide and the first thing you require to create this beautiful picture effect is transparent pictures like this. Even if you have pictures with background, it is always a good idea to select the picture, go to the format tab in PowerPoint ribbon and use remove background tool to isolate the pictures. Once you have the isolated picture like this, then to create the effect is a child's play. Let me show you how easy it is to create the effect. The first thing I'm going to do once I have the transparent pictures is to go to the home tab in PowerPoint ribbon, go to auto shapes menu, under lines, I'm going to pick up this tool called a scribble tool. I'm going to click on it and my cursor turns into a crayon or a pencil. Now all I need to do is to roughly draw around the edges of my transparent picture. I'm not really going to care too much about being perfect here. The more shaky your hands, the better the effect it is because you're actually going to mimic the way you would uh, get the picture if you were to use a paper cutout or a magazine cutout. So I am going to be as free and as uh, fast and easy as possible like the way that you see here. Don't really worry even if a uh, part of uh, your drawing goes and hits the picture. You can always make uh, the corrections. I'll tell you how exactly to make the corrections a little later. And once you are done, you uh, start, you click on the starting point and you will have a rough cut image like this. Once you finish drawing, you might feel sometimes that you may want to add certain portions into the selection or remove certain portions from the selection. It is easy to make those corrections. All you need to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up this oval tool in basic shapes and then draw around the area that you want to include into the selection then you select that particular oval, hold the shift button down and select the freeform area that you had drawn earlier and then go to format tab and go to merge shapes and say union. The same thing goes to remove certain portions from the selection. All you need to do is to use the same oval tool to draw around the area that you want to remove from this freeform area. Then you select the freeform area first hold the shift button and then select the oval area which requires to be removed and then go to format, merge shapes and then this time use shape subtract. So that is how you add or remove areas from the selection that you have already drawn using the scribble tool. Now with that out of the way, the next thing I'm going to do is to take this particular freeform area that I have just drawn and right click and go to send to back option. Now, at the first glance, it might not really look like much, but the moment I go to shape fill and use white fill and then go to shape outline and remove outline and then go to shape effects, go to shadow and use this outer shadow. Usually the one that I use is this one called as offset diagonal and bottom right. Then you can start to see the beautiful magazine cutout effect for your picture. Now, if you want the entire cutout to show, then the way you do it is you go to shape effects, shadow and go all the way down to shadow options and then choose something like outer offset center like this one so that the shadow is all around the cutout and then you can increase the size of the shadow by going to the size option here and then increasing it and therefore this provides a beautiful magazine cutout effect. Now let us go to the slideshow mode and see how this beautiful effect has turned out. Isn't that interesting? It is that easy to create this effect. If you liked the clarity of my explanation and the creativity of the effects that I have been showcasing all the while in Presentation Process channel, then you will really love our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program. 
it is a structured way to master powerpoint ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program is arguably the most comprehensive and creative powerpoint training online you can find more details about ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program by clicking on the no more button here and by the way i hope you liked the tutorial that i taught you in this video if you did then i have a wonderful treat for you i have put together a beautiful mini training called learn 25 creative powerpoint ideas to make your slides slick and interesting if you're a business presenter like say you are a business owner a business executive a trainer or a consultant then you will find this course extremely useful you can sign up for this mini training by clicking on the button here you can also sign up for the mini training by clicking on the link in the description area below this video so go ahead click on the button here sign up for the mini training and take your business presentation slides to a whole new level i'll see you inside the mini training